Hey, Dave James here. I'm here to talk to you about benchmarking programs. But before I do that, I'm going to drink of this coffee. Ah, delicious. You know, I should quit drinking this before I turn my teeth yellow. Too late. Hey. Anyways, stay tuned for this video. Money, 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 money. Oh, hey. All right. Uh, so you took your money and you end up putting it all into your computer rig. You know, you spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on it, you know, uh, to build this awesome, fantastic computer rig. Well, you want to know how is it compared to other people's rigs? How it compared to other people's builds? You want to know if yours is the best one or yours is up to par with other builds. Okay, in this video, I'm going to tell you about five freeware programs that you can use to benchmark your computer. I'm also going to show you two more programs that you can use. It's paid programs, but it's very popular and I suggest you get it. Okay, the first one I want to talk to you about is Geekbench. I don't really recommend this one. But I'm just going to go ahead and tell you anyways, even though this is not part of the five free ones I was going to tell you about. But I feel like it deserves a mention and stuff like that. So I'll tell you a little bit about that. What is Geekbench? Well, from their website, Geekbench is a cross-platform benchmark that measures the performance of your computer's processor and memory. They also give you information about your system. They also give you a breakdown of the results. They also give you some scores here that you can use to compare against other Geekbench users online. This is a pretty good program and it does do a lot of things, but unfortunately I do not recommend this program. The reason why I don't recommend this program is because it's only free for 32-bit versions of Windows. If it was also free for 64-bit versions of Windows, then I'll be like, okay, I can recommend it. But considering that there are paid programs out there that are much more better than this, I don't recommend it. Okay, for this next program, let's say you want to know how long it takes for your computer to boot up. Booting up to your login screen to booting up to your desktop. But this program will do it, and that program is called Boot Racer. You may be asking yourself, what is Boot Racer? Boot Racer is a lightweight, easy to use, convenient tool for monitoring your Windows PC's boot time. It also gives you better control over your startup programs. Boot Racer also has the ability to exclude the user password timeout time from the calculator total. How does Boot Racer save you time? Well, number one, Boot Racer calculates the clear Windows boot up time without password timeout. It also monitors your PC boot time and notifies you about any speed degradations. It will also let you know what programs are slowing you down. In the interest of time, I'm not going to do a full tutorial on this. I'm only going to give brief overviews on these programs. This is a pretty good program, so one day I might actually give a full tutorial on it. Okay, this next program I want to tell you about is PC Mark 7. Okay, what is PC Mark 7? Well, PC Mark 7 is another benchmarking tool. It comes from the same company as 3D Mark, which is Future Mark. PC Mark 7 is a complete PC benchmarking solution for Windows 7, 8, and 10. It includes uh, seven tests combining more than 25 individual workloads covering from storage, computations, image and video manipulation, web browsing, and gaming. Specifically designed for a full range of PC hardware from network and tablets to notebooks and desktops. PC Mark 7 offers a complete Windows PC performance testing for home and business use. Personally, I see no need to get the advanced or the professional edition, unless, of course, you own a business or something like that. I think the free one will do you just fine. And just like most other programs, when it's done benchmarking your system, it will upload it online and give it a score. By the way, while I was doing this, I was doing a few things. I was video editing, plus I was running Specky, and I was doing a thumb drive tester at the same time. So my score might not be that accurate. All in all, for a free program, I highly recommend this. It's a pretty good program. Okay, this next one I want to talk to you about is Cinebench. Cinebench is pretty popular. A lot of people seem to use that one. Cinebench is another very popular tool, and it's very highly recommended by most computer geeks, including me. 
Cinebench is a cross-platform test site that evaluates your computer's performance and capabilities. Cinebench is based on Maxon's award-winning animation software Cinema 4D, which is used extensively by studios and production houses worldwide for 3D content creation. The Maxon software has been used in blockbuster movies such as Iron Man 3, Life of Pi or Prometheus, and many more. Cinebench is the perfect tool to compare the CPU and the graphics performance across various systems and platforms. And the best thing about this is, well, number one, you can use it on Windows and Mac. But number two, and best of all, it's completely free. And one that I highly, highly recommend. Okay, another program that I highly recommend is Sandra. What Sandra will do is tell you pretty much everything about your computer. It also has benchmarking tools on there as well. One day in the future, I'll probably be giving a tutorial on this as well. But for now, let's go ahead and do a overview of what Sandra is and what it does. Okay, what is Sandra? Sandra is from Sci Software. It is a system analyzer, diagnostic and reporting assistant. It is information and diagnostic utility. It pretty much will tell you almost everything you need to know about your computer. It also will show you other devices, whether hardware or software, and let you know just about everything about that as well. It works along the lines of other Windows utilities. However, it tries to go beyond them and show you more of what's really going on with your computer. With this program, it'll pretty much tell you everything about your computer. For example, I'll tell you about your CPU, your chipset, your video adapters, ports, printers, sound card, memory, network, Windows internals, AGP, PCI, da -da 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 -da, and so on and so on. So whatever you want to know about your computer, whatever you don't know, whatever you don't want to know, this program will tell you that. All in all, this is another program that I highly, highly recommend. Up next is a program called Performance Test. Passmark's Performance Test Program is a fast and easy PC speed testing and benchmarking program. It allows you to objectively benchmark a PC using a variety of different speed tests and compares the results to other computers. In many ways, it's a lot like the other programs that I've talked to you about here. But the only thing about this program, it's pretty easy to use and stuff like that. You could compare it to similar machines that has you know similar components as you. All in all, it's a pretty good program, and I recommend this one, too. Okay, up next, I'm going to talk to you about two paid programs. One of the programs is a program that I've used for years, and that's called 3D Mark. If you're a PC gamer, then you probably know about this program. This program right here is a program that I highly recommend. This program right here is the most popular gaming benchmarking graphics card test and is used by millions of gamers and overclockers worldwide. If you're a PC gamer or an overclocker, you should have this program. This program right here will tell you what kind of games you can play on your system and also helps you out whenever you're trying to overclock. If you don't get any of these benchmarking programs on here, you should definitely get this one. No ifs, ands, and buts. If you're a PC gamer or overclocker, you gotta have this one. In my opinion, this is the best one. Okay, this next one is called Ida64, and I've just recently started using that one. I haven't used it very long, but from what I'm hearing from a lot of people, it's a very good program, it's highly recommended, and everything like that. Like I said, it's a paid program, so don't forget that. Ida64 Extreme has a hardware detection engine unrivaled in this class. It provides a detailed information about the install software and offers diagnostic functions and support for overclocking. As it is monitoring systems in real time, it can gather accurate voltage, temperature, and fan speed readings, while its diagnostic functions help detect and prevent hardware issues. It offers a couple of benchmarks for measuring either the performance of an individual hardware component or the whole system. It is compatible with all 32 and 64-bit Windows editions, including Windows 10 and Windows Server 2016. They do have a few different versions of this. There's Ada64 Extreme, Ada64 Engineer, Ada64 Business, and Ada64 Network Audit. 
This also gives you a complete list of your system specs and everything in your computer, just like Sandra does. So if you insist on getting a paid program, this program here and 3D Mark are the two programs I recommend and buying. Oh, uh, one more program I want to talk to you about before I go is called ZPUZ. It's been around for a long time and a lot of people have used it. I thought about not talking about it, but I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and mention it anyways. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you like my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to know when I release new videos, go ahead and click that bell icon that's beside the subscribe button. Anyways, that's it for this video. Until next time, peace out.